What is up guys, it's SMG, and today I'm going to be commentating over some Crimson Dragon gameplay, crappy game, easy achievements, and without further ado, let's get into the video. As you can see in the title, I'm going to be giving you some tips about working at Wendy's and basically working in the fast food industry in general, and how to survive it, and how to just put up with crappy crappy people sometimes, and really really stressful, hard, aggravating, stupid, no I'm just kidding, fun, easy job. Okay. Um, first off, let's get into the interview itself and getting the job at Wendy's or McDonald's or Taco Bell or wherever. Um, first thing you do is you apply online. Basically, everything's online nowadays. So go on the internet, apply, and um, hopefully the manager will give you a call back and saying, hey, yeah, come on in for an interview. Um, before that, you have to pass an online interview. They just ask you questions. What is teamwork? And like just kind of silly, silly, arbitrary things like that that they probably... I bet they don't even read them, but anyways, just do your best on that. And um, the first thing you do when you get to the interview is some tips is just relax. This is number one tip, relax. Don't freak out. I mean, it's just an interview. Don't, I mean, don't act like the manager of Wendy's is Jesus Christ. I mean, just talk to them like a normal person. Don't be strange or odd or nervous or just, just be cool about it, you know? I mean, which is easier said than done for some people because I know, you know, anxiety and just you know, being overall nervousness about talking to people and just oh, about big and important things and whatnot. But um, just be cool about it, you know? Okay, um, dressing for the interview, uh, tips. I could tell you that the most important thing to do is not overdress and that it's better to actually kind of underdress than it is to overdress. Um, some of you may disagree with me on that, but um, just like wear something I mean, casual, you know, wear a nice collared shirt and some jeans. I mean, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to rent a tuxedo or something, for Christ's sake. I mean, just it's just a job interview. Just play it cool, and you'll be fine. Um, some questions they ask is like, and that you can expect for, or, you know, what is teamwork to you? Um, what are your hours like? Can you work holidays? And um, I'm telling you that your chances are going to go up a lot if you tell her that you can work holidays and that um, you can work a lot of hours you can fill in for people if you tell her that stuff like that that you're not gonna be busy all the time which you may be but um just tell her that and or him i keep saying her <laughs> him or her or he she if she's a if a, if, if it's a he she um which would be a kind of awkward but anyways um just try to tell them what they want to hear i mean without exaggerating the truth too much because that just makes you look kind of silly and foolish but um try to tell them what they want to hear at the interview and as soon as you get the job um yeah just let things go from there on your first day of work show up on time you know punctual which is called you know lombardi time which is like five six seven minutes early not you know start work at, at seven o'clock exactly no that's not on time that's in my mind that's late so you, you want to show up a, a few minutes early just make a good impression you know you don't have to do it every time but the first day of work definitely show up early um you know take a shower before i mean shouldn't really have to say that i mean people hopefully you know that you have to take a shower before your first day of work um take a shower brush your teeth you know all that good stuff make sure your fingernails aren't don't look like the gremlin from the gremlin or they don't look like you know joel from the last of us you know all dirty and whatnot <clears throat> excuse me um anyways when you get into the job just they're gonna show you a bunch of training videos you know how to make burgers and how to like just do stupid things that you probably already know you know they show you like oh this is how you stand or this is how you wait or this is how you wipe this is how you fold a towel like just stupid things that you already know just don't really pay much attention to them just take them for what they are and try to get through the training videos because they are very silly everybody knows it the managers know it but I mean they have to show the videos <laughs> and they're just really 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 funny and um it's try to get a laugh out of them because you're gonna have a horrible time if you're not you know laughing in some kind of way at them but anyways after you do the training videos they throw you in, they threw me into the job pretty quickly i told her that i want to be a cash register person with jigger thing uh, cashier i guess they call it <laughs> and um yeah just you might want to try, try out for sandwiches or um dining room you know cleanly guy cleaner guy whatnot but um it just depends on where you are I chose the cash register position because it seems like the most the easiest, most fun job. Like you kind of get to interact with people, you know, which is kind of up or down depending on the day and the people. But um, just tell her or him or her the position you're most comfortable with. If you're really antisocial, like you know, 
retractive person, don't try to be a cashier because you're not going to have a fun time. You're going to be struggling. Um, if you don't like people, work in the back. That's what I say. Because the front can get very, very... Some of the everyday duties that um, I do at Wendy's or in my coworkers do is uh, sweeping the floor, stocking products, I mean, wiping the windows, wiping the tables, taking the trash out, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning the grills. I mean, there's a, there's no shortage of things to do at a restaurant. And um, depending on the manager, you might have a manager who like wants everything to be able to eat off of it, like super, 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 super clean, like, you know, uh, Walter White's bald head clean. But, <laughs> um, and some managers like, eh, you know, just keep it dirty. Eh, who cares? So, um, depending on your manager, you might have you clean a lot, like more than you expect. I was thinking, you know, oh, I'm just going to be handling money and food and talking to people and, you know, uh, completing orders and that type of thing. But it turns out the job is far from that. You spend about 50% of your time cleaning, 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 cleaning. And then when you're done cleaning, you get to do some more cleaning. And then when you're done with that cleaning, you get to go outside and clean some more. So um, there's a lot of cleaning involved. And if that's not your thing, then if you're not person that likes to clean i would not definitely not try to find a job at wendy's because you do a lot of it um that being said if you do like it and you find it fun you're gonna have a fun time because you get to kind of work at your own pace sometimes and when it's kind of slow you know just um take your time wiping the tables and whatnot Depending on where you are, and it really, really depends on where you are, you're going to have to put up with a lot of crappy, crappy, crappy people, you know, that just hate the world. They hate everything. They hate their dogs. They hate their wives. They hate their families. They hate life. They hate the town. They hate you. They hate everything. So um, just trying to do, that's probably the hardest part is dealing with those people that just want to make your day bad. I had a guy at one time, he threw a sandwich across the entire restaurant at me because I had pickles. Because I had pickles. It's like, come on, man, really? Just take the pickles off. <laughs> it was pretty funny, actually. I laughed in his face and I almost got fired, but that's a different story. Um, anyways, asshole customers are always going to be, a, you know, something you have to put up with pretty much at any job if you're, you know, doing retail stuff. And, um, yeah, that's kind of the hardest part of the job, I would say. Um, there's nothing Wendy's can do about, you know, bad customers, but... You just got to keep you cool with them and not try to lose your temper because you will get fired. Even if they're a complete jerk to you, you will get fired if you yell at a customer or, you know, that type of deal. One last thing and one last big tip is that when you first starting the job, it is not going to be easy. And I repeat that, it is not going to be easy. The first week and a half, two weeks maybe, if you're a slow learner, it's going to be hard. You're going to have a stressful time. You're going to be confused. You're going to have people yelling at you. You're going to have your manager yelling at you. You're going to be tired. Your feet are going to be sore. It's going to be horrible. I'm telling you that just honestly, straight up. If you don't like, you know, that type, if you don't like really, really hard work and demanding labor, I don't think you should find try to find a job here. You should try to find a job elsewhere. There's plenty of jobs, you know. And finally, the one final biggest tip I have for you if you're going to try to find a job in the fast food industry is to try to do little things to get on your coworkers' good side you know and um without really kissing up or you know like just being a total like kiss ass to your managers or to your coworkers, just try to do little things to help them out you know do you want me to take out the trash do you want me to take out this order do you want me to you know sweep I mean just little little things that don't take a whole lot of effort and um they really improve your standing with your coworkers, and after a couple weeks, you guys will be friends before you know it. I mean, I'm friends with all my coworkers. Like, we Facebook, play Xbox together, that type of deal. I've been only been there for about, I think, what is it, um, two months now, and um, I'm very comfortable there. And um, it's basically because I just have done the little, the little tiny things that you know help out a lot, and they really make managers like you and they like your, make your coworkers like you. Um, other than that, I just have to say that. Um, Wendy's is actually pretty fun. I kind of like it there. You get 50% um, off food, which is really good. You can get those little Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers, which are the bomb. And the little uh, Junior Frosties, you can get like two of them for like fucking 80 cents or some shit. I mean, it's cheap. It's <laughs> cheap food. That's always a plus. And just stick with the job. Stick with it. It's going to be hard the first couple of weeks. Once you understand that, your life gets a whole lot easier. Um, and other than that, thanks for watching this video. It, it means a lot to me. Uh, if you want to leave a like, that would mean I, I love you guys. That would be freaking amazing. If you leave a like, I would love that. Um, a subscribe would be even better. I mean, 
if you like this video even a tiny tiny bit uh, it helped out a lot uh, spread the word if you want to see more videos like this or you want to do let's plays together co-commentaries comment uh, PM me like and have